saw this post uh, by Trudy Elias Smith about her shower. And her big problem is this stud here. And uh, I'm really not sure um, what version she's using. But I, I have X11 and I thought I'd do a quick video. Okay, here's a, just a simple room, four walls. And in X11, um, they have these walls over here. Uh, straight glass pony wall and straight glass wall. And if you double click right here, it'll open the dialog box. And you can see that they're using interior four for the lower half and glass shower for the upper half. And it's 48 inches off the floor and you can change that. I think I'll make it 42. And then also, how do you want to see it in your dis plan display? Um, you can show the lower wall. You can show the upper wall, lower wall outline. Um, that's what I'm going to do. That's my usually my default. I'm going to click OK. And then if you click here and you draw, and then you draw again, and we take a view of that, um, it's hard to see in standard view, but there's your shower, shower enclosure, basically. And then over here in doors, they also have a shower door. And if you double click on that, it'll open the dialog and you can set things how you want them. I think I'm going to make this 96. And um, I think I'm going to say six inches off the floor. So we have a curb. Um, I, you may or may not want a curb, but let's just do it with a curb for now. And just stick the door in here somewhere. There we go. And you can click down here and reverse the swing and swing it in if you want. Um, so we have our curb there. And of course, that's not looking real good. So one thing you might want to do right here is make, I noticed in your picture, you want this all glass. So if you go back over here to walls, you got a full glass wall right here. So I'm just going to click right here and drag through. And then take my uh, shower door again. Where is that? Right here. And uh, I'll, I'll just put it right here for now and make it a little wider. And let's just take a look at that. See what we got. And maybe it's an X11 thing, but um, as you can see here, actually, I'm, I'm going to take this off and we'll just leave it like that then you can pull these walls down you just click on the wall click this tab right here pull it down and just hit your tab key and hit say minus 12 same over here tab key minus 12 and if you want your door to finish right at the top of your wall you might have to just kind of play with it a little like that and there you have it and you have no stud showing here and so i don't know if they fixed it in x11 but this really isn't a problem so um if you have any questions give me uh post them and i'll do my best to answer them but in uh chief x11 that's pretty you can't see the glass that's i gotta change my material here i'm gonna give this a little i'll just give it a dark green here see how it look there now you can see the glass and uh so it's pretty simple in x11 if you have x11 now you did ask about the tile on there too and the way i would do that is i would use a elevation camera not not the wall elevation just a section elevation and you can just zoom in to where you need to like right here and um then I would use a wall material region right here and just come on. There you go. Draw it out. You can draw it wherever you want and then bring it down, post it, pull it into the corner. Uh, I noticed you had two different materials. So let's just say we'll do this four feet tall and then we'll put another region right here. Same width or so and pull that to there and then open this one and change the material here um, 
I don't I I have it cutting the finished layer so you may or may not want that so let's ch change this material here to uh, I don't know maybe a oh maybe this like one of these okay I'm, I just picked something. I'm not going to say it's going to look good. Obviously, it won't. But uh, if you look at it in camera view now, there you go. And then in this elevation view, you know, you can put this exactly where you want it. So if you, if you want it to be right there and then maybe an inch and a half out, you just hit your tab key, hit one and a half, then drag this one over to here and do that. Look at it again. And there's your pretty ugly looking shower, but you get the drift. And then, of course, your shower room, you don't want any baseboard in there. So go to the Moldings tab, unclick that, and hit Delete. And uh, there you go. And then I would use a floor material region for the shower floor. So hope that helps. Quick video on showers.